Hey everyone, I've got a quick tutorial for you today because it's been brought to my attention that there's a feature in Sketch that is not widely known about and it's a really useful useful feature for those of you who are designing modals and pop-ups and things that you would like to match or uh, go nicely with uh, iOS 8, iOS 9 and it's that we have the ability to create a frosted panel or to have a panel blur its background uh, without going and blurring the layers that are behind it. It's actually a built-in feature of Sketch. So I've got this side nav here, and I'm going to position it on top of this image here, uh, or images, images, text. I mean, there's a lot going on behind this that it's overlapping. And uh, I would like to blur it where this panel is, but just where this panel is. I don't want to blur it everywhere. So I'm going to click to select, I'm going to double click to get inside this group and select the background box here, which is its own object. And I'm going to go over to the inspector on the right-hand side, and I'm going to switch Gaussian Blur to Background Blur. And the way Background Blur is, when you apply it to a shape, it blurs what's behind that shape. So I can choose my amount here, and I can also determine how opaque or transparent I want this box to be. Uh, the more I frost it, the more transparent I can get away with making it, and vice versa. So once you've got this established, if I click away and I go to move this group, no matter where I put this group, it's automatically going to blur what is behind it. That effect is being applied dynamically. And on the later versions of Sketch, like right now we're on 3.8, 3.8 handles this with uh, higher performance than previous versions. If you're on an old version of Sketch, you'll find that this is what they call expensive. Uh, the expense is performance and if you have a big document it can slow things down but it is dynamically applying this blur effect wherever you put this object so it is a pretty heavy and impressive thing for sketch to do so that's it uh, hopefully you guys like this tutorial if you do and you're not subscribed already please subscribe and i'll have more cool stuff coming soon